Hi guys. Formula One is struggling. Drivers are angry over new rules and an arduous decision-making process. And even Formula One boss Bernie Ecclestone has said that the current series of Formula One races is crap. So it's time to sell. And selling is very close because a US media company is willing to put up $8.4 billion. Now I don't care much about Formula One, but I do care about the game that I'm playing this week. A game that I got to know during the last UK Games Expo when I sat down with my friends from the Critical Twits. This week I am playing Formula D. In Formula D players control a race car and they also get a gearbox and a sheet to keep track of their car's vital systems. Each round you can shift up one gear, which means you get to throw a bigger die, custom made dice, which means that your car will go faster. The trick, however, is in the corners. You need to make sure that you end your movement in a corner and in difficult corners, maybe two times or even three times. So shifting back at the right time is key. You can mitigate a little bit by using the brakes or using up your tires. Try to shift down more gears, but if you do that too much, chances are your car will spin or worse, blow up. There is no deep hidden strategy in the game. It's just a blast to play with four to 10 people. And even if you're with a lower player count, you could all use two cars. There's a big collection of maps available, but I love playing on the Dutch course, which is Zandvoort aan Zee. I hope I have sparked your interest for this beautiful, fun race game, Formula D. Thanks for watching. See you next week.